Hey, before I get started, be sure to leave me a like. It helps me out. You guys killed it on the last video. Let's talk about VTUG. <laughs> Oh man, I left my freaking windows open overnight. Probably got like a mean spider chilling in here right now. I think this is the dirtiest my car has ever been on a film, guys. Like you can literally draw your name in that. It's 59 degrees out right now, guys. I don't know, guys. I think she looks a little, little bit better. I wiped it down. This is my good side. mess with the car if you mess with me if you like the channel give me a like so a lot of you are familiar with the brand of Honda you guys think a Honda you think a lawnmowers ah! all jokes aside though people come to Honda for two cars the Honda Accord and the Honda Civic so in today's video we're gonna be talking about the legendary Honda Civic SI and what makes it the best car for the price enjoy all right guys, so this is my 2007 Honda Civic Si FG2 Coupe and I've had this car, like I stated in my last video, I had this car for four years going on to five. I basically have 208,000 miles on the chassis and I swapped in a fresh K24A motor with simple bolt-ons and a tune right now. So the first thing we're going to talk about today is reliability. When I think of Honda, I think of basically one of the top brands out there right now in terms of, you know, Toyota, Lexus, and whatever other brands that are reliable. So Honda is up there in terms of reliability with its competitors. In my eyes, had really good luck with the K-Series engines. Guys, these things are engineered to last hundreds and thousands of miles. They stood a K24 is engineered to make it to like 300,000 or 400,000 miles as long as you like somewhat maintain it. So another thing in terms of reliability we're gonna talk about is bolt-ons in a tune, guys. This thing can handle bolt-ons in a tune. Basically any SI engine can handle the bolt-ons in a tune. The stock Honda clutches, at least on these cars, are engineered to last up to 100,000 miles, guys. I had the stock clutch on this car lasts 127,000 miles, all right? So in my eyes, that's incredible. That just shows the, the quality of the, the build quality, the parts quality, that Japanese parts are very, very reliable. They're engineered for longevity. Since we're talking about the clutch, we're gonna get into the other parts that last. Water pumps are built to last. Gaskets are built to last in these cars. You have basically, everything is built to last, guys. Valve adjustments are good for like 60 to 100K miles. Timing chains are good for 100,000 plus miles. The next thing we're gonna talk about on why the Civic Si is the best car for the price is the driving feel of this car, guys. All right, this thing, every time I get in this car, it just, always puts a smile on my face the driving factor you know the even the interior guys it's simple but it's also sporty at the same time this car really stuck to me when i found out that it had the digital cluster and i just love how the si looks the red dash everything even the seats kind of hard to see right now and my stitching is a little faded but it's definitely sporty guys you know you got a nice sunroof up top to find a scenic windy road we're not gonna do anything too crazy because yeah. I got the little camera crew in the car right here we're gonna talk about the nimble handling on this car okay all I have is decent tires HFP suspension lowered a inch all around dude we are out in the bonies literally he don't know where he's going Oh, 
forgot I had Carly in the car. Uh -huh, you got a child in the car. I kept it under 50, all right? <laughs> Let's talk. Guys, I don't even really need to talk a lot about it. VTEC fun. Any Honda SI with VTEC is going to be a freaking blast, all right? I'll even consider putting in that the new SI turbos have, have got to be a really fun time, too, because the way they sound and the performance, this guy has no idea where he's going. But if you have a K-Series specifically with VTEC and Torque, it's a good time. It's a really good time. Harley, what would you say earlier about this car? It's Oh man, we got a K24 fan over here. Basically saying the K24 is faster than the 20. You forgot I was in the dang car. Yeah, I forgot she was in the car. Whoops. With the filming crew. Guys, drop your comments down below. K24 or K20? Well, a lot of you guys ask where I film most of the time, like the scenic spots. So my mom lives in Torrington area for all you guys who are like curious. So I'm out here a lot, like, like Northwest corner. I like filming with when there's not a lot of people around, a lot of distractions and stuff like that. So this place is packed today. So we have rev matching in these cars. It's almost like they were basically made to do that. Every time I'm, I'm driving spirited or I'm having fun runs in, I'm always rev matching. The transmission is watery smooth for the most part. Last but not least, number three, we're gonna talk about the Stealthy Underdog. A lot of you people are probably like, what the heck is the Stealthy Underdog? I honestly just came up with that, but what I'm basically trying to say and what this is gonna lead into is never underestimate this platform or any of the SI platforms. The eighth gens, the ninth gens, and the 10th gens all make horsepower numbers ranging from 197 horsepower to about 205 horsepower, which is actually, for the, for the weight in the chassis, that's actually a pretty decent number in my opinion. That, you know, any Civic that makes around 200 horsepower to me, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty impressive power. Torque ranges anywhere from, I believe, yeah, 139 from the 8th Gen K20 to 190 pound-feet of torque. That's for the 10th Gen SI Turbo. K20 takes a while to build its power. Obviously, it's a high revving machine. K24, on the other hand, makes great power mid-range, kind of tapers off around top. Turbos, I'm still waiting to get a ride in the 10th Gen SI Turbo, but those probably make great power low-end because of all the torque and stuff. Mainly considering the torque numbers, guys, even though these cars make decent torque, I mean, the K20 is really low in my opinion, but in terms of K24 and 10th Gen SI Turbo, the, you're still an underdog if you think about it because most of the turbo cars out there today in the world, like the Mazda Speed 3, SRT4, Focus ST, WRX's STIs, all make 240 torque stock, all right? That's no mods done. So you automatically get placed at the bottom of the totem pole being in a Civic in terms of torque and technically horsepower. So that's why I call it the underdog. I had to bring the script out, guys. When I get crazy ideas, I literally write everything down in paragraphs. If I had to be like a like an actor or a movie star and I had to remember scripts, I would probably be horrible at it. At the end of the day, guys, being the underdog, you know, we, we get beat by a lot of cars. You know, a lot of turboed cars and V8s beat the Civics. It kind of sucks that these this platform is looked at as like the the slow ricer or the lawn mower or the uh, GAY platforms. A lot of stuff driving Civics, you know, driving Hondas in general. Being the underdog, that's why I'm gonna go into this next thing, and that is basically bolt-ons in the tune matter 100%, guys. You get a stock one of these, making about 200 horsepower stock. You throw nice bolt-ons on, you know, cold air intake header. A tune you don't even need an exhaust guys you know that's gonna bump you up probably another 15 20 horsepower decrease your power limit lower in the rpm range it's gonna help you significantly bolt-ons in tune and modifications change the performance significantly and I truly believe that even though this is the underdog 
you know, you do the basic things to this, you know, you're going to be keeping up, if not beating all your rivals. You know, you're going to be keeping with speed threes, SRTs, WRXs, all that stuff, guys. One thing I'm going to say is never, ever underestimate the K series top end, guys, because it, it just keeps pulling and pulling and pulling, especially the K20, guys. That's it, guys. Wrapping up the video here. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. All in all, I appreciate you guys for watching this video. If you did like it, guys, be sure to give me some love down below. Drop all your comments down below. What are your reasons for the Civic Si being the top car for the price? Drop yours down below and also consider subscribing. I wanna give a huge thank you to everybody who keeps showing continuous support. We're at 17,000 subscribers, guys. Let's get to 20K, okay. and I mean that. Yes. I wanna host the Sweet Car Meet East Coast. I'm gonna to try to find a convenient location. That way everybody can meet up pretty much. We could chill out, you can meet me for the day whatever have a good time so hope you guys really enjoyed stay tuned for the next video we'll see you guys then peace peace out